Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to the session on FAIR data repositories. Um, and my name is Ishwar Chandramal Ishwaran, and I'm the Deputy Director in the Office of Data Science and Emerging Technologies at the National Institutes of Health, and will be moderating the session along with my um, um, partner in crime, Jenny Larkin, who is online as well. So without further ado, this session is focusing on um, uh, all about uh, how do we build and modernize our data ecosystem uh, at the NIH that focuses on preparing uh, uh, all of us uh, with the advent of the new data management and sharing policy that goes into effect in 2023, January. Several activities have been underway to kind of gear ourselves up for that, both as, as, as sponsors and funders, as well as to get our grantees and uh, researchers prepared. One of the first things that we've done is to um, have active funding opportunity announcements that focus on data repositories and knowledge bases with special criteria to kind of uh, develop them, uh, evaluate them, and make them more um, uh, useful and usable. The second thing is we're kind of gearing up all our grantees with one-year supplements to strengthen um, not only the repositories, but the data that they generate uh, in, in manners that can be consumed by others. Uh, we're looking in various ways to incorporate generalist repositories into the larger uh, uh, ecosystem, which is, and if you recall, two years back at ISMB, we had kicked off the fixed share pilot as an example. And one of the key lessons learned from that was kind of uh, enhancing metadata helps um, the data become more discoverable amongst many other findings from that pilot project. The next thing that we're looking at is we hosted a workshop on the role of generalist repositories to enhance data discoverability and reuse that resulted in a kind of cool concept called co-opetition where various repositories could participate with each other and looking at addressing some of the common capabilities that apply across all of them. And one of the first things that they all got together and did was develop a repository services matrix that is available on fairsharing.org. Several other activities are planned in the coming months and years to follow. Another activity that the NIH organized is a workshop on data metrics where we took a deep dive into core metrics and best practices to better understand data usage and their impact. Another more recent workshop that organized by the NASM and the National Academies was in changing the culture as such for better data management and sharing practices as a whole. And why are we doing all of this and several other activities is to make sure we're positioning our repositories for better, fair data management and sharing. And we're organized this through um, our uh, NIH uh, working groups that span across the various institutes that focus on life cycle metrics, making the repositories fair and the data within that fair as well um, by addressing the desirable characteristics of repositories, uh, looking into what metrics to uh, uh, update and align ourselves better with community standards and, and in whole strengthening the whole ecosystem to make them more fair and trustworthy. We see a tremendous opportunity over here that allows for diverse uh, repositories to provide various options for researchers in being able to better manage their data and share um, the same as their needs evolve. Uh, so some of the anticipated outcomes over here are essentially making it easy to share the data, improving the discoverability of NIH-funded data across the repositories, supporting greater reproducibility, as we'd all hope to, avoiding duplication, as uh, in the previous session Brian O'Connor mentioned, across the various systems, encouraging NIH-funded researchers to actually become both contributors and consumers so that it's not just a one-way street in all. All of these activities are outlined on um, the NIH website over here, the outcomes and, and the various uh, workshops are recorded and available as well. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce today's panelists who are each going to share their experience and expertise in making repositories fairer and, and some of the innovative approaches they've taken to make the data within them fair as well. So first speaker is Mark Hennell, who will touch on what is it, what's in it for the researchers and what's the carrot over there for them. 
Um, and Lara Mangravite uh, from Sage Bio Networks would talk about the tribal nature of data sharing and I'll let her clone on what, how, what tribal, she, what she means by tribal. John Chidaki of the California Digital Libraries will talk about all things fair data and fair repositories with a focus on metadata. And uh, Carol Goebel, professor of uh, computer science at the University of Manchester, will talk about as uh, is the UK um, lead for uh, Elixir, and she'll talk about bridging researchers in the data research data management lifecycle with data archives. Uh, and last but certainly not the least, Dr. Sandra Tang will talk about uh, and introduce the consortium of social political research, ICPSR, uh, also known as um, she's from the University of Michigan, and we'll talk about what the resources and what capabilities they are implementing to make these resources fairer. Um, so um, we have a cadence over here. Every speaker gets 12 minutes, which is followed by Q&A. Uh, so there's no Q&A between the speakers. Please make sure you post your questions in the Q&A box, and we'll be uh, sure to answer those asynchronously. And with that, I'll pass it on to Mark Hanel our first speaker over here.